Well, I got off work for half a day today because we're having a weather day. Um, possible tornadoes, very unlikely. Um, so, I have time to film a video. I don't really have anything prepared, so I'm going to do this impromptu video. I'm somewhat interested in the MBTI, Myers-Briggs, personality typology. I am an INTJ. Doesn't matter how many tests I take, I'm still an INTJ across the board and across time. I've been an INTJ. So I thought that for this video, I would pull up some INTJ stereotypes because I don't really know a lot of the stereotypes and just react and see if I think they're accurate. I adjusted the camera a little bit there. Personalitygrowth.com says one of the biggest stereotypes is that INTJs are emotionless or unfeeling or robotic. Mm, that's definitely not true, but I don't really know how to express my emotions, especially if they're negative. So if something bad is happening or I'm stressed or I'm mad, I'll probably just sound like this. If I'm excited about something, you know, I can turn that on. But as far as conveying more negative emotions, I just don't know how. Okay, another stereotype is that the INTJ does not care about other people. I can see why it would seem that way, <laughs> but really, uh, sometimes it's just hard to relate. And it is hard to convey like sympathy and it's hard for me to like comfort people. If someone is going through something sad, I'll just be like, um, do you want some ice cream or something? <laughs> Oh, the INTJ is not good in a romantic relationship. Well, that is untrue because I've been in my relationship for like 13 years or 12 years or something. I think I've become more of an INTJ within those 12 years. Uh, perhaps I was a little more affectionate back in the earlier days. But yeah, I'm still, I'm still do, I'm relationshipping. Again, all of these so far are from personalitygrowth.com. This misconception is that INTJs are not fun people and they're only focused on facts and getting things done. <sighs> that does sound like me. Am I fun? I don't know. And yeah, I am focused on getting things done. Definitely. But I think I'm fun. People ask me to hang out all the time, so I must be fun. Okay, these INTJ stereotypes came from Reddit from the INTJ sub. INTJs can't smile. INTJs can't cry. Uh, yeah, I cry. I don't really like cry in front of people that much. INTJs are mean. Girl, I wish. I wish I could be more mean. The thing about an INTJ is you're an introvert, so you're not necessarily confrontational. And I think probably many of us wish we could be meaner than we are. Another stereotype I'm seeing on this thread is that INTJs are manipulative. No. I mean, I guess I could be if I wanted to, but I don't need to. Uh, the INTJ is a scientist type. Uh, I don't know. I'm more of an artist type, but I could probably be a scientist. I just didn't know. I didn't know it back when I had to choose what I was going to be. I'm now reading from Quora.com. Uh, INTJs are sociopaths or psychopaths. Again, I wish. But I think I am, I'm able to, okay, let's say like in a fictional setting. In a fictional setting, if I see somebody getting what they deserve, you know, like if the villain ends up being killed or something, I'm like, well, that's, that's how it has to be. Or, you know, if, <laughs> if somebody gets a pretty hefty sentence for a crime they've committed. I'm like, well, that's, you know, that's how it happens. I, I'm able to kind of distance myself from empathizing with certain people who have done a certain degree of bad things, I guess. But yeah, I definitely feel sorry for people a lot. So I'm not 
is so a psychopath. <laughs> INTJs are arrogant. I'm like arrogant on the inside, I guess, but I don't go around like tooting my own horn all day. Oh, you know, this one is just when I remembered there's the like INTJ face, like the bitch face that apparently they all have. I don't think I have that. Oh, okay, I'm back on Reddit. <laughs> one of the stereotypes is the INTJs don't greet people and like, Girl, yes. Why am I going to go into the office and say hello to the same people every freaking day? Can we just pretend like it's still the same day as the last time I said hello to you? I don't know. It just seems really repetitive and redundant. Oh, I read the stereotype recently that INTJs can uh, cut people off very easily. And yes, that is true. I just, I mean, if I don't want you around, I don't want you around. It's nothing like, I'm not like going to bed thinking about how mad I am at you. I'm just like, bye. Another INTJ stereotype that I've seen mentioned here on Reddit is that they don't like small talk. And yes, that is very true. Um, I will talk about the weather. <laughs> the fact that I don't do small talk makes people think that I am quiet, but really like, I'm not going to go into your office and talk about like how football's going or something like I'm too hungry for this. Oh, and just like a, a stereotype that's kind of been thrown around. I don't have an exact source is that INTJs don't really like to be complimented. And I would, I would have to agree. I think especially like out, and about in public, like a compliment from a stranger, I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I think I'll wrap this up. I was hoping to find just like a straight bullet list of INTJ stereotypes, but apparently it's not that easy to find. So I hope this was fun. If you're an INTJ, I hope you found this relatable or maybe not because even though INTJs are the same type, they can still be completely different from each other. And I love assessing all the different factors that make me who I am, um, this type being one of them. And this typology has really helped me to understand my strengths and weaknesses and why I am the way I am in certain ways. And it's also helped me realize that it is okay. Not that we don't have all have things to work on um, with any type, but it's helped me to be a little more self-aware and self-accepting. Anyway, <laughs> I think I was a little too hungry to film this video, so if it's kind of scattered, please forgive me. I'm gonna go have a snack, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.